we have a cylindrical vessel with water that is rotated with omega we need to find the shape of the free surface of water and pressure distribution over the bottom so you might have tried that if you just rotate the water in the glass you will get a surface like that so we need to find the equation of that surface and what will be the pressure at the bottom so we need to know one thing that when you take any element on the surface of any liquid then the forces on that element along the direction of surface are balanced so again if you take any element on the surface of a liquid then in any direction along that surface the forces are balanced so whatever the force that is exerted by the liquid rest of the liquid that is exerted in the direction of normal but along the direction of surface forces are balanced so let's read that force on a surface element by rest of the liquid is always normal to the surface along the surface forces are balanced so we are going to use this theory to find the equation of this surface so here we have taken a horizontal element because the surface is horizontal here we will take the element which is tangential to the surface so just like here the forces along the surface will be balanced and there will be some force which will be exerted by the liquid in the direction of normal but i am not drawing that here because ultimately we are going to balance the forces in the direction of pp dash so why we pp dash so we don't need to bother about the forces that are normal to the surface and also what is this setup so we are taking x and y coordinates because we need to know the shape of the free surface that is an equation between x and y so we need to define our axis so let's take the bottom of the vessel bottom center as origin this be the x axis this be the y axis and the element which we have selected let that be at the point x comma y so now let's write the forces on this element so fl and fl are balanced just like here then there be mg down and there will be m omega square x towards right so these forces are with respect to o dash so this is a pseudo force now there will be another force like i said that will be in the direction normal to the surface that will be exerted by the liquid but i am not drawing that here and we don't know its value also so let's write the equation along pp dash so let's take an element at x comma y balancing forces along pp dash on the surface what we get is fl plus mg sin theta in this direction forces are fl plus mg sin theta is equal to force in this direction that is fl plus m omega square x cos theta so why we are comfortable with this angle theta because the tangent that makes an angle theta with the x axis that tan theta is dy by dx because we need the equation of the surface so we again theta can be written in the form of x and y so that's what we are going to do so simplifying this we get tan theta is equal to omega square x by g and tan theta we can write as dy by dx so now we take the similar terms on one side and integrate so y varies from h not to y and x varies from 0 to x see this equation this relation is between x and y so we have to see where the you don't need to see about the water anymore we only need to see the surface this graph so the variation of this graph of y is from h not so let's say this side is h not to y and variation in x is from 0 to x so we put the limits and we get y is equal to h not plus omega square x square by 2g which is a parabola so this curve which is formed by rotation of water is a parabola now second part we need to find the pressure distribution at the bottom of the vessel along its radius provided the pressure at the central point is equal to p not 
so he's saying that the pressure here is p naught which is only possible if h naught is zero then only the middle point at the bottom the pressure will be p naught so here this height is negligible so let's say h naught is zero and then we need to find pressure at a distance x so now we know that the pressure at this point x comma y is also p naught and therefore if we go down from this point the pressure will be p naught plus rho g y now the particles have velocity but the velocity of all the particles along this line is perpendicular to this line so pressure due to that velocity will not vary so only variation of pressure between these two points will be because of the height that will be rho g y so pressure at this point px is equal to p naught plus rho g y now y we can write by this formula so using 1 with h naught is equal to 0 we get y in terms of x we put that here and our answer is pressure at a distance x is given by p naught plus rho omega square x square by 2 all right